We had the opportunity to hang out with one of today's most influential female trail ambassadors and all around Skidoo aficionado, MJ Thompson. I love everything about snowmobiling. Um, there's so much to love about it. It's everything from that feeling when you push the throttle to the people that you go out and meet and talk to, to the fireside meals, to even just like being bushed at the end of the day and everybody's sitting around talking about what happened for the day. It's a, it's a big family, it's a passion, there's excitement. There's, there's just everything to love about it. I think I was born into it. When I was growing up in Bruce County, we always had snowmobiles. We had a couple of snow cruisers. And for the kids, we had a couple mini brutes. And I just loved it, like right from a very young age. And I was always trying to keep up with my brothers. How did I get into racing? When I moved to Muskoka, I had a 92 plus. And it was just me. I didn't have any, I didn't know that many people up here. And I met some friends that snowmobiled and they thought, we're gonna get brand new snowmobiles and go snow cross racing. And I'm like, that's, that's dumb. You're gonna spend that much money on new sleds and race? What? No. But in order that year at the CSRA, you could pay entry to get in for the year by a membership. Or if you were a racer, you got more free stuff plus free entry than you did if you just paid entry as a spectator. So I signed up to race just so I could get my cases of oil and my free belts and my NTN bearings. And sure enough, we show up at the first race, which I believe was in Lindsay in 1998. And um, it was great. They threw me on a sled. Wasn't my snowmobile. Boyfriend's hat and goggles. And I went out there and I won. <laughs> so that's how I got into racing. It was almost by accident. I never would have thought that's who I would have been. But the adrenaline you get from that first race that carried me through another 10 years of racing. I just loved it. <laughs> Everything about racing improves who you are. It's unbelievable because it teaches you not just how to ride and the skills of riding and, and, and managing things, but it's also about public relations. It's also, it's about the team. It's about the family. It's about everything. So I can't even say it just applies to trail riding and skills on the trail. It, to me, it's, 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 a, it's a pathway that teaches you skills just to deal with other people and work as a team and that passion everybody has. How did I get involved in vintage parts? When I was racing, the original guys I started racing with, they realized that they weren't very good at it early on in the game. And I ended up going to the races all by myself. It would usually be me, my dog, and my pickup truck. And through that, um, people like saw me working away and they reached out to help me. And that's how I met Bill. He had Northland Recreation at the time. And he was very generous enough to put me on a snowmobile. Um, that was the first time I ever rode a ZX chassis. So they put me on a snowmobile and I raced in Horseshoe. And that's how I met Bill. And from there, Bill and I just kind of got to know each other a lot better. And we decided to go into business together. And that's when we started our, our vintage parts business, where we distribute OEM obsolete skidoo parts, primarily to the dealer network. I can tell you the exact moment where I decided I love vintage sleds. I have friends with a hunt camp and they would come up once in the winter and I would usually ride my snowmobile to get to them because in order for them to get to their camp, they would walk in with a toboggan. Like you couldn't drive in. So we didn't have much snow that year. I couldn't ride my snowmobile in. So Bill said, tell you what, I'll give you my Elan. <laughs> Bogey suspension, you'll be good to go. So he actually had a sweet 96 of land that he gave me and I rode that thing into this hunt camp and I've never had so much fun. Like I was just grinning the whole time, just like I couldn't believe it. 
And when I gave the land back to Bill the next day, I said to him, I need the land. <laughs> and that's how it all started. Oh, my current sled collection. So obviously I have an land in my sled collection, but I think I've gone through a couple of them. Right now I have a 72 Elan, uh 250 single with a bogey suspension. And you know, it's a pretty little sweetheart. But a little bit of an upgrade from that would be my 68 Olympic with a 320. A little bit of upgrade, still single cylinder, because I like to stick to those. But you get a longer, longer track on it, and you get a little bit better handling. And then from there, I got my 72 TNT. It's a 292 single. And that, that is a weapon. <laughs> that's, that's 22 horsepower. <laughs> and it will go 70 miles an hour almost. So that's pretty sweet, really. Um, I love that snowmobile. I think that might actually be the true pride of the fleet. Even though, you know, I like to think that Becky, my 88 Safari that does all the workhorse and the grooming and stuff, I like to think she's the pride of the fleet, but it might be my TNT. And then I just picked up a 1980 Blizzard 5500. I, I ripped around on that for the first time recently and I'm loving it. This year I'm riding a 2022 MXZX 850. I put a couple accessories on it, are a skid plate. I put on the accessory high beam lighting, which I love. I have put on the glove box extension with the cell phone holder and a USB outlet, which I don't think I'll ever live without now that I have it. I've put on wind deflector mirrors, and that's especially good for riding in Quebec, and handlebar muffs. And I put on a medium windshield, which with the side air, air deflectors, which is my favorite windshield. I don't like to have something too high. Seat bag, tunnel ice scratcher, skidoo knee pads on my panels and the e-link system, which I'm loving. <laughs> so I am a trail ambassador and that it's very unique. And I think I'm insanely honored because that's where I actually get to go out and meet people. And the best part about it is you hear how everybody else rides and what it means to them and it's all different. But that's what I love the most is um, getting out and meeting the people and finding out how everybody else rides and how they enjoy it. Everybody's got a little different twist on how they, how they ride, who they go with, how fast they go, where they go, maybe how far they don't go. It's great. Because I think every ambassador they bring on brings something very unique and different to the table. And when I met all the ambassadors, that's the one thing that shocked me the most. We're all so different, but we share a common passion. I definitely bring like an expertise and a hands-on approach from a woman's perspective that maybe they didn't have before. And especially in the trail riding segment, like there's a lot of women wanting to be more confident in that, in that part of everything. And they're used to their husbands maybe, or their boyfriends moving the sleds around and doing that for them. And we don't need them. We have all the tools we need to do it ourselves. So it, it's nice to be able to bring that to the party. I've seen a lot more women um, into snowmobiling in the last five, 10 years. And I think a lot of that is because um, we can't. <laughs> like, why wouldn't we? But, um, you know, we have all the resources we need out there to go out and do what we want. Um, for someone like myself, it comes naturally because my dad always just gave me the tools, whether it was a trailer or whatever it was, and said, just figure out how to get this from there or change that or do it. So stuff like that comes naturally to me and there was never a doubt in my mind that I can't do that stuff. But there's a lot of women out there that don't realize how easy it is. And you realize what it's really all about. Everybody can enter this sport. It's, it's so easy to enter into, it's so easy to have fun and women are in it. It's, it's, it's a great place for us. What do I say to somebody that just wants to become a role model on snowmobiling? Just be yourself. Go out there, have fun, help other people have fun, and be respectful of everything around you and grateful that you have access to this, this wonderful sport. Like, it's just great.